Summer's gone. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. After yesterday's record-shattering day, we have a much different look on the Ocean City Boardwalk compared to yesterday when we had some people out hanging around. We even have a few people on the beach as well. This afternoon, a much different story. It is cloudy, it is dreary, damp, and even a little drizzly at times here. And as we go on throughout the day, we're going to continue to see that. We're also going to see coastal flooding continue for a few hours as we go into the afternoon. A coastal flood advisory is in effect through 4 p.m. Now, this is a little bit more than the usual areas in terms of who's going to see flooding. So I laid out a couple of locations here, but of course, the typical areas like West Atlantic City, some parts of Ocean City are going to see water as well. And even along the Delaware or Bayshore, we're expected to see uh, water too. We are on the upper end of minor flood stage. And then that should be it for the coastal flooding as we go on throughout today and as we go into tomorrow as well. Looking at our future radar, notice how we are dry here in South Jersey and everywhere to our west is dry too. So while it's not the nicest day, you're actually going to be relatively dry. There will be a couple areas of sprinkles or drizzle around. You see all this to our north. It stays to our north as we go into the evening as temperatures actually warm up with a warm front. But then a cold front comes through as we go into the early part of Friday. Between midnight to 4 a.m., I wouldn't be surprised if you see a couple of showers. And then by 8 a.m., we are drying out and clearing out as well. And we'll have a very autumnal day as we go into Friday. I want to show you a different look here at looking at our setup. So this is today. We have a, we are socked in clouds. And what's actually happening to the south here is the satellite is picking up on temperatures where there are no clouds. And where you're seeing these oranges and reds, that's temperatures near 90 degrees, similar to what we had during the day yesterday. So this is a ridge of high pressure that's going to be with us as we go into the late day and into the evening. So temperatures actually rise a little bit during the evening, and then we cool down as we go into early Friday with a couple of early clouds and then we will eventually turn sunny as the day goes on but it is cloud cover for the day today temperatures falling slightly through the 60s so about 30 degrees cooler than this time yesterday fall planner anything that you need a completely dry 100 percent no risk of rain day like paving not good here but after school activities and outdoor exercising will actually be good surprisingly despite the gloomy look campfire could be okay maybe a little damp in a couple of spots we go on throughout the night tonight those temperatures are rising look at violence starting at 66 excuse me 64 going up to 66 and then 67 even getting to 70 degrees along the shore there'll be a shower around between midnight to 4 a.m with a little bit of moonlight during the evening then for friday it is a normal northerly wind that ends up coming through gusty at times temperatures about seasonable about 70 degrees is seasonable for this time of year so we're right near that clouds to sunshine a nice autumn day then we'll lose the cloud cover and uh, some of the winds as we go into saturday should have a mix of sun and clouds 43 though for a low on friday night in some places probably get to the 30s in the pine barrens then we go into sunday which is a beautiful day temperatures in the mid 70s and we'll continue the 70s as we go into monday and tuesday there's going to be a cold front around as we go into the early part of the week, we're still trying to work out the timing, looking more likely to be a Monday night thing, but we'll hammer out those details for you as we go on throughout the week. And then Wednesday, looking fall like again. We are talking about the coastal flooding and more on social media, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, or you can always visit our website, depressiveac.com slash weather.